Sup guys, going to give you an update for the mounting assembly. This is a Jimmy Joe generic blueprint of the mounting assembly. I'm trying to get everything on there where you can see it all. Okay, there you go. Now I'll explain all this. Oh, this getting older stuff's for the birds, man. Okay. The mounting assembly is what I'm calling this, this, and this up here. That's the mounting assembly. This, 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 this is the rotation assembly. Okay. First thing I'm going to, I'm going to give you the ingredients as to what you're making this stuff out of. This is 14 gauge unistrut that you can get out at the depot. Both of these pieces. This is 12 gauge unistrut that you can get out at the depot. All right. First thing we're going to do. is cover this 14 gauge unistrut. This 14 gauge unistrut just happens to be cut 45 inches long. That's gonna change depending on what size solar panel you get. So I'm gonna show you how to determine that length. First thing you do is you measure the length of your solar panel. In this case, that solar panel is about 62 inches. So right up off the, right up off the top, you cut this vertical piece of 14 gauge unistrut 17 inches shorter than what the length of that solar panel is, which in this case comes out to 45 inches. This vertical piece and this ver vertical piece is 45 inches long. Okay, well, so how do you determine the spacing? Well, you, you determine the spacing by measuring the width of the solar panel. In this case, this solar panel is 32 inches wide, okay? So right off the top, you subtract six inches, you divide that by two, which comes out to 13 inches. You find, oh, excuse me, you find the center of your rotation assembly right here. You measure 13 inches out to the outside here, 13 inches to the outside here from the center. Always go from a center line. That way everything stays square. And that's where you mount these bad boys. Of course, you, you center on the vertical, you center, you, you, you center this piece with the rotation assembly. You try to have as much hanging off one end as you got off the other. Center it that way. Center it on the vertical as well as on the horizontal. And that takes care of your 14 gauge vertical, vertical mounting assemblies. Now you got to worry about your horizontal mounting assembly. Well, how do you determine that? Okay. Well, right off the bat, this uh, 12 gauge unistrut, this is a stock piece. It's, it's a stock 10 foot piece. There's no cutting involved with this. It, it, it is what it is. I mean, you can cut it later if you want to, to size for your solar panels, but chances are you're probably gonna wanna, if you got some extra space, you'll probably later on want to add another solar panel if you got the room. I mean, what the hell, you know? So let's worry about our horizontal spacing on this. How do we do that? Okay. First thing we gotta do is take a consideration that all solar panels have mounting slots. Okay, you can see this one because it's highlighted in green. You can't really see the one at the bottom. But these mounting slots, center to center, are 37 inches, okay? So once again, you divide that by two, which comes out to 18 and a half inches, okay? So then, you come to the center of your rotation assembly, and you measure down 18 and a half inches from center to here. And just out of curiosity, if I can find my thingy, what's that come to? 18 and a half inches. Wunderbar. 18 and a half inches up to your top one. 
and that's where you bolt it on. That way your horizontal 12 gauge unistrut matches up with the mounting slots on your solar panels. And it's really that easy. I mean, hey, 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 you know. Uh, you've got a one inch U-bolt that you use to attach the 14 gauge unistrut to the rotation assembly. U-bolt, 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 double nutted. You attach the horizontal mounting assembly to the 14 gauge assembly with a quarter inch bolt, some fender washers. That easy. Put it on there, bolt it up. You know, you, 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 you might want to leave the bolts just a little loose on that though so you got a little slop in the actual mounting and you can move them. I mean, after the uh, panel is, is uh, bolted on there and, then, and the nuts are started, you can run your tape measure on it for a final square to pull things in and then go ahead and tighten them up. And that's pretty much it, guys. Nothing hard about it. But I thought I would give some explanation to the uh, Mountain Dew cardboard diagram. <laughs> Well, I got to go get my lunch because I got to work tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Be good. Be good at it. God bless. Keep on tinkering.